Rocketing through the final year of the 21st century's first decade, the Armadillo Aerospace team found itself busier than ever. When we last visited our Intrepid team, they were testing a LOX methane engine in the high altitude chamber at the White Sands test facility. The engine was tested up to a simulated altitude of 120,000 feet, coming through with flying colors. Continuing the work with NASA, Armadillo adapted one of the mods to fly on LOX methane and flew several free flights, including the first flight ever under the FAA's new Class III waiver. Now, the methane work continues with an old faithful rocket in the Armadillo stable, Pixel. Pixel has been repurposed to serve as a hovering platform for various instrument tests. Meanwhile, the team continues its work in providing propulsion systems to the Rocket Racing League. This year marked the first time Armadillo has handed off complete operations of their rocket systems to another party, and it has all gone very well. The Rocket Racing League has flown more than 50 flights on Armadillo propulsion. After winning Level 1 of the Lunar Lander Challenge the previous year, Armadillo was eager to claim Level 2 in 2009. They partnered with the Scorpius Space Launch Company, a division of Microcosm, who produced high-pressure helium tanks for one of the mods. SSLC demonstrated the expertise to produce custom-sized tanks in a matter of only three weeks. The resulting supermod was dubbed Scorpius and was capable of flying the required three minutes while remaining within the Class 3 waiver restrictions, avoiding the need to apply for a full launch license. In September, they flew Scorpius at their home base in Cattle Mills, Texas, successfully completing the Level 2 required flights. Scorpius has landed. The game wasn't over, however, and after a controversial decision by the judges, Armadillo was ultimately edged out of the number one spot on accuracy by Maston Space Systems. But the work doesn't stop there. The team moved on to their higher altitude testing regime. In preparation of flying the rocket to ever higher altitudes, they exercised the mod's control systems by testing its recovery from impulses it might see through aerodynamic forces. Rocket tug-of-war. The team even squeezed in a test from Purdue University students under Professor Stephen Collicott that was called SPEAR, Students Performing Experiments on Armadillo Rockets. 
Unfortunately, the students weren't able to get the results they wanted this time, but Armadillo anticipates many future endeavors like this one. Satisfied that the mod was finally ready to do what it was born to do, it was time to start pushing the altitude envelope, making higher and higher hops to shake out the various systems. Thus far, the team has flown successful boosts up to 4,000 feet, and were in the air for a total of 20 free flights in 2009 alone. They are currently preparing for the next round to higher altitudes. The coming year we'll see the team continue the contract work with NASA, pushing Pixel as the little workhorse we all know it to be. They'll also continue supporting the Rocket Racing League's propulsion systems as the league moves ever closer to flights in front of air show crowds. And of course, Armadillo Aerospace is eager to do what they set out to do in the first place. Beat gravity into submission, push ever higher and faster, and ultimately achieve that coveted destination, space. <laughs>